SpeedQ and WordQ work together as a word prediction technology that monitors the letters that the user types and then generates a list of predicted words. Students can dictate, type, or choose words from the prediction list. When the user is finished typing a sentence, SpeedQ has the option of reading it back so that the user can check for errors, missing words, or punctuation. Additionally, sample sentences are provided to help clarify the misuse of homophones. What student profiles would benefit from SpeedQ and WordQ? Users of all ages who have problems writing and editing can benefit from using SpeedQ and WordQ. This program is particularly beneficial for students with a learning disability such as dyslexia, students who are learning English as a second language, children with neurological impairments, attention deficit deficits, and developmental disabilities such as cerebral palsy. When remedial practices are unsuccessful in producing a significant improvement, the use of a computer is commonly recommended as an alternative means of text generation. The main advantage of SpeedQ over other products is that it is simple and easy to use and can be used with any standard Windows-based writing software like MS Word, WordPad, Notepad, or Outlook. Unfortunately, it is not hands-free and is intended for students who can type. Also, there are no voice commands except for basic punctuations such as period, comma, new line, and new paragraph. SpeedQ targets students who have strong verbal skills but struggle with reading and writing. Research that supports SpeedQ's efficacy. Not being able to handwrite at a speed fast enough to meet the writing demands at school will inevitably affect students' academic progress, success, independence, self-confidence, and motivation. Studies have shown that SpeedQ has improved writing for students with and without disabilities. Parents, children, educators are finding WordQ helpful. One study conducted in 2003 reported an increased motivation to write and has led students to develop a broader variety of words in writing. Children gained independence as they did not need their parents to be available to them with spelling. Parents reported that their children were more willing to experiment with words and were therefore using a variety of words in their writing. For children who scored lower during this study, families reported reasons such as health problems that prevented their children from doing more work or the child was more interested in playing games on the computer than working on their writing. However, it is important to note that assessing assistive technology outcomes is a complex process because the means by which technology is applied can be affected by many factors. The support that the child has at home and at school, the accessibility of the environment where the technology is used, the motivation of the child in the use of the technology, and the level of training and technical support offered to the family and to the school are all factors that must be considered. Research shows that methods such as SpeedQ can be used to facilitate the inclusion of students with special needs in instructional life of the general classroom. Such adaptations would allow students the support they need in demanding educational expectations at, until high school and even further beyond. SpeedQ can be used wonderfully for PowerPoint presentations as well. For children who are hard of hearing, this would prove to be exceptional. It's a great bonus to be able to read clearly what the teacher is saying. You're wondering, how am I going to implement this uh, technology in my classroom? How about consider using headphones and uh, a microphone um, so that it's not a distraction in the classroom? Um, another benefit that WordQ has would be that it has instant feedback to your student. So as your student is typing, um, he gets an instant feedback to whether it's correct or wrong, and, and the program will tell you. You can take it one step further. How about doing it as a whole classroom? So you introduce this uh, proofread, you, you treat it as like a proofreading technology. Um, so instead of something like spell check, students can find and fix and prevent mistakes on their own. Like th this would just offer a broad appeal to, to, to students in, in a classroom setting.
for example, 20 minutes, set it up on, on your LCD projector, have it projected onto your, to, you know, to the wall, and um, you can use this as a proofreading method with the whole class instead of the one particular student. And you'd have that incorporated into your program 20 minutes a day.